Hello, my name is Dr. Raymond Benedetto, and I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, spend a few minutes with us today here to watch this video, which we're going to be diving into chronic back pain, sciatica, leg pain, all the different variations, kind of soup to nuts from A to Z. Uh, we're going to be talking today, so I want to thank you for taking the time. Uh, whether you're watching this on our website, whether you're watching on, some of you may be watching on video, others maybe YouTube, that's how you found us. Um, we're going to, in a relatively short period of time today, go over a lot of valuable information and solutions for maybe your chronic problem that you've been dealing with for, for a long time, a lot of our patients. So uh, grab a pen and paper. We're going to be running through a lot of, a lot of stuff today. So uh, again, I want to thank you for taking the time. We're going to go ahead and dive right in, take some good notes. If you have any questions, need more additional information, um, you'll be able to get in touch with us. I'll give you our contact information, websites, the whole nine yards. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. What we're going to be talking today about back pain and sciatica, leg pain, a lot of different chronic conditions. We're going to go through some success secrets things that, uh, knowledge that you may not have about back problems, things that you can do to help, uh, and things that we can do to help. Solutions that work. The things that we do in our office that help the patients who haven't been able to get help anywhere else. Briefly, we're going to go ahead and I just want to tell you a little bit about myself just so you know who I am and where I'm coming from. Again, my name is Dr. Raymond Benedetto. I am a board certified chiropractic neurologist. I'm in private practice here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania since 2003. And a lot of the things that we're going to be going over today, treatment-wise, um, and the things that we do for our patients, we've been doing since 2006. So we've been, we've been at this for quite some time. Uh, and I'm the author of a groundbreaking uh, report that I've written, which you'll be able to, to, to get uh, for free later if you like. Well, like I said, well, I'll give you our contact information. How to end your back pain nightmare once and for all without drugs and surgery. A couple of our websites you can check out if you'd like some more information or you would like to get in touch with us. Uh, BethlehemBackPainDoc.com BethlehemBackPainDoc.com That's our, our website specifically for, for our patients with back problems. It talks about the treatments that we're going to go over today and things. And LehighValleyChronicCare.com LehighValleyChronicCare.com That's our main website. It talks about a lot of the things we're going to be going over today, but also uh, some of the other conditions and things that we see in our office. Now, what are we going to cover today? A lot in a relatively short period of time. So, uh, like I said, jot down some notes, keep your ears open. Uh, we're going to go over some back and leg pain success secrets. How, what's causing the, the problem? How do we fix it? How does the back work? Why am I having these symptoms? Things that we do. What do we do? How do we treat these problems non-surgically? We're going to be talking about something called cold laser decompression, how the, some of the treatments that we do. How can cold laser decompression possibly be a solution to, to the problem that you may be suffering from? And how to see if cold laser decompression is right for you, how to, how to see if it's going to maybe work for you. We'll give you the opportunity if you'd like us to help you to see if it can work for you. Now, let's go ahead and dive right in. Success secret number one. Your back problem, your pain, started a long time before you started noticing the symptoms. And most of the cases that we see are chronic. Most of the cases that we see are degenerative in nature, so it's something that has been progressing over a long period of time. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the structure of the disc. The disc the, in the spine, the disc is made up of two parts. So the disc is made up of this outer ring here, which is called the annulus fibrosis. And there's a center portion here called the nucleus pulposus, which is contained within that annulus. Now, the, um, what happens over time is as the disc breaks down, that center portion starts to migrate or starts to leak into the outer portion. And it has to get into the outer one-third of that annulus, of those, those outer rings, in order for you to start feeling pain. So this process begins years, even decades, before a lot of times patients will notice the symptoms. And sometimes by then it's, it's kind of late for a lot of the other conservative treatments like chiropractic care and physical therapy and things like that, which is why we do the things that we do in our office. Uh, the good news is, is that the things that we do, the cold laser decompression that we'll be getting into shortly, um, can safely and effectively care for this. This is the whole reason we do it. The, the only reason that 
we do this particular treatment are for patients who are, have chronic back problems um, that, that have some of these conditions that we're going to go over shortly. Now, success secret number two, healing takes time. Okay. Again, kind of going back to what we just talked about, just because we didn't have pain for a long time doesn't mean we didn't have a problem. Patients wake up one day, they got this problem, they get an MRI, and they're like, wow, this is bad. Why didn't I have problems all those years? Usually we have to kind of get to that point where the, the straw breaks the camel's back. Healing takes time. Uh, damaged discs, uh, according to the research, um, take approximately 300 to 500 days to fully heal. So the treatments that we do with patients, we get them feeling better relatively quickly, but we're talking you know, months for the discs to, to fully heal and to be fully stabilized, no matter what treatment you do, no matter whether you do our treatment or patients have surgery. Success secret number three, MRIs. No doubt you've probably had them. If not, you're we'll be having one. It's a great diagnostic tool, but it doesn't tell the whole story. We don't want to base our treatments or our treatment recommendations on solely the MRIs. A lot of times patients, they get the MRI, here's what you got, you know, go get shots or this or that or whatever. Um, it's a gold standard for evaluating these, these spinal problems, but it's not, it, it needs to be used in conjunction with a proper history, proper case history, and proper examination. Most of the time, the MRIs will be the last thing I look at with a patient. I want to meet with them, go over their case, examine them. I want to already kind of know what's going on here and what, what might be the problem before we look at the MRIs. Success secret number four. What we perform is non-surgical spinal decompression therapy. It is not the same as traction, traditional traction. Uh, some of the common misconceptions are that, they, that it's the same thing. You know, uh, I've had traction before, how is this going to help me? Um, traction has been around a long time. It has not really proven to be very effective. Uh, you know, you go to the hospital, hang weights over bed, you know, the side of the bed, pull on your back, maybe even go into a machine that pulls on you. Um, decompression uh, is, is kind of traction on steroids, so to speak. We do use a pulling force, an axial force, to pull on the spine. Um, the technology and things that we use, I'll show you the, the machine that we use to do it, is rather advanced. Um, we don't get, you know, there's a much lower chance of injuring the patient. We can actually um, target specific disc levels. So if you have a problem at this level, we can do the treatment there as opposed to pulling on the whole spine, which you get with traction and you get with uh, inversion tables and things like that. Success secret number five, your brain and your back. Here's the thing. There's a part of your brain called the cerebellum. It sits in the back here. What its job is to do is to control all of your spinal and your postural muscles. Okay? It also helps to coordinate movement and helps with balance. So if you have a chronic back problem, the part of your brain that's been responsible for controlling your back, your spinal muscles, your, your, your posture, things like that, probably isn't working so well either. So a lot of times what we need to do with patients when we get, start to get them better and we start to rehab them, we need to make sure that we're addressing that component also. We need to make sure that we're rehabilitating that cerebellum and make sure that it's controlling all those muscles, muscles appropriately. Success secret number six, oxygen therapy. In a nutshell, the goals of treatment are to reduce, th these are compressive injuries that we're talking about in the spine, degenerative issues. Step number one is reduce that pressure reverse that process, get patient's relief. Step two is we want to help heal the damaged tissue as quickly as possible. And what we do is when patients are in the office getting treatment, we use oxygen therapy. We have them breathe in a little bit of oxygen to help speed up that healing process for long-term benefit. We want to relieve the symptoms, help heal up the problem. Success secret number seven, soft tissues and your back pain. Okay, a lot of times when we're talking about soft tissues, we're talking muscles, ligaments, tendons. They do need to be rehabilitated. It ne the question is when. It needs to be done in the proper order. A lot of patients, have they get to see me, they've already been to injections and they've already had physical therapy and all those things. Um, those, you know, PT and rehabilitation are great, but they need to be done in the proper order. We need to fix the problem first, the underlying problem with the spine, then rehabilitate the, the, the muscles and the soft tissues. It's usually done in the opposite order. 
Success secret number eight, stenosis and your back pain. A lot of patients come to me with stenosis. It's a narrowing in the spinal canal. You've probably heard these terms before. If you have it, someone's mentioned this to you. Our treatment can help different types of stenosis. There are different types of stenosis, and it's a case-by-case -case, uh, thing. It depends on the cause, depends on what's causing the narrowing in the spinal canal, depends on the severity. This is where MRIs and things are obviously helpful, um, and we determine this on a case-by-case -case deal. But just because you have stenosis doesn't mean that our treatment won't help. Spinal degeneration and back pain. Now, how does a disc degenerate? Okay, we talked a little bit about the two parts of the disc. What happens over time through injury, repetitive strain, you know, a lifetime of, of wear and tear, the discs can degenerate. They can thin out. They can wear down. Okay, this can cause significant problems, spinal pain and or pinching of the nerves and things that can give patients the leg pain. How does our cold laser decompression help? It reverses that process. It helps take the pressure off the disc, slow down and stop the degenerative process and give patients relief. It's, it works beautifully for that. Success secret number 10, don't use medication as a crutch. Look, medications have their place. Injections, anti-inflammatory medications, pain medications, sometimes they're necessary, especially in the short term when patients are in a lot of discomfort. It's not a, fi a long-term solution. It's not going to fix the underlying problem, um, you know, the issue is a lot of times that's what patients are told. You know, look, we've done all we can do, you just got to take these meds the rest of your life. Um, it causes a lot of complications and problems down the road. It's not going to fix the underlying problem. Success secret number 11, non-surgical cold laser decompression therapy and surgery versus surgery, okay? Cold laser decompression is considered an alternative to surgery. Most of the time patients get to me they're either had surgery and it didn't work, they're considering surgery but they'd like to not have it so they're looking for an alternative, or they've been told their surgery is not going to help them so they don't have any other options. We have a much better success rate than surgery and surgery obviously we always want any type of surgical intervention to be the last option. Now, so how do we do it? What do we do? How do we treat patients? We use a, a system that I've developed called cold laser decompression. What it does is it combines non-surgical spinal decompression, which we'll get into the details of a little bit now, and we use a, a machine called the DRX-9000, which is beautifully uh, designed to, to, uh, to complete that, and we use something called cold laser therapy. Okay, it's a therapeutic laser treatment that we use. I'll kind of break down what we use each one for. Okay. There's a picture of the DRX-9000. This is what it looks like. This is what we use to do the non-surgical uh, spinal decompression. It's non-invasive. It's not painful. It's an outpatient procedure. You don't need to, you know, you, there's no anesthesia involved or needles or anyone to drive you home afterwards. Um, this works beautifully. It's sole design. The only reason I have this machine is to treat these chronic back problems. Degenerative discs, herniated discs, stenosis. Um, this is what the machine that we use to accomplish that to help to, to help to relieve these compressive and these degenerative back problems. This is the cold laser that we use. It's a low level laser. We call it a cold laser because it doesn't, it's not hot. It's a low level therapeutic laser. We use it in combination with the decompression to help with pain control, to help with inflammation, and to help with tissue healing. Again, we want to get relief and then we want to heal the damage. The cold laser is what we use to help accomplish that part. What conditions can cold laser decompression help? What's this good for? What, what is this indicated in? Degenerative discs, herniated and bulging discs. Those are big ones. Stenosis, again, certain types of stenosis. Not everybody who has stenosis and not everybody who has any of these things is, is a great candidate. That's why we tell patients, come on in, we'll take a look at you, we'll see if we can help. And sciatica, leg pain, if any of these issues are causing leg pain going, uh, going down the legs, one or both legs, um, we can help with sciatica too. How does the treatment work? Okay. What it does is we help to take the pressure off the discs, non-surgically, the spinal canal and the nerves, which can allow for relief, number one, short term we want relief obviously, and healing. We can take the pressure off of these structures, then they can gradually heal over time. How long are the treatments? How many will I need? That's the million dollar question. It's different for everybody. Typically, 
most patients will undergo between 15 and 30 treatment sessions. So it does take some time. It does take a little bit of effort. We do this over a period of time. Most uh, patients over a period of about 8 to 16 weeks. So there's a time in investment there um, to get the job done. Treatment session lasts approximately 45 minutes from start to finish. What, we want, what we're here to do is this. We want to give patients hope because a lot of times they get to me, they don't have any left. I'm the last stop on the train, so to speak. We want to empower patients to be able to manage their condition, to understand why it's happening, to get the treatment they need and to be able to help manage it so that they have control, so that they know, look, I can get better and if I do X, Y, and Z, I can stay better. And then I have options. Well, patients are like, they're sitting here in my office and they're going, you know, I've already done it all. I've done the PT. I've done the injections. I've done chiropractic. I'm not a candidate for surgery. I've had surgery. I don't want surgery. Do I have any other options? Now, a couple of things we need to touch on. And patients always ask me this question. We're going to have to approach it. With these particular conditions, there is a chance your insurance might not cover it. Uh, some do. Some don't. It totally depends. I, I, I tell patients nowadays, there's so many different plans and everything's different. We'll, we check on it. I tell patients, first things first, let's see if you're a candidate for this. Let's see if this treatment's going to help you. Then we'll worry about, is my insurance going to cover it or what are the costs involved if it doesn't? Um, we go over all that stuff with patients. But you kind of have to ask yourself, okay, even if it doesn't cover it, what's the value to me? To, what's it worth to me to get better? We're here to help people who cannot and have not gotten results anywhere else. So people come to us as a last hope. And, and the people that we work with can make that commitment. If there's a financial commitment involved too, sometimes that's necessary. We always check those things before we do any treatment. Um, but that's a possibility. That, that, again, that there may not be insurance coverage. It's a case-by-case -case deal. Some final thoughts. I saved a couple of success secrets for the end. You can control your own destiny with your health in general, but especially with your back problem. You are responsible for your health. Not the government, not your doctor, not any of us. You. You have to ask yourself, am I prepared to live like this the rest of my life? Is this worth at least investigating to see if it can help me? And success secret number three, you got to take action. Um, you, know, you have the ability to get your life back and get this problem under control, but having all this information without action isn't going to help. Um, you know, If we keep doing what we've always done, we're going to keep getting what we've always got. Here's what we do. If you're interested and you want to see if this treatment or this therapy is going to be right for you, I don't know that right now, You know, talking to you. We have to take a look at you. We have to see if you're a candidate for this. So what we do is we offer two free visits. The first visit gives you the opportunity to come in, sit down with me, go over your case. I can examine you, look over MRIs, the whole nine yards, to be able to see if you're going to be a candidate for this. If you are, what we do is we have patients come back for a second visit, and at that time, we can lay everything out for you. Yes or no, you're a candidate for this. If yes, here's what we have to do. Here's the treatment plan. Here's what kind of results we could expect. Uh, here's how long we think it will take. Here's insurance coverage or costs. We can go over all those things ahead of time so we can decide if this is going to be the right treatment and the right decision for you. In closing, ask yourself, you got to ask yourself the following questions. I'm sure you've been dealing with this problem for a long time. Most patients have by the time they get to me. How has your back condition affected your life, relationships, activities, um, you know, family time? What does it cost you? Time, money, happiness, sleep. Where do you picture yourself in the next three years if, if this problem is not taken care of? You know, I get patients to sit here and tell me, I'm going to be in a wheelchair if I don't get this thing fixed. We don't, we don't want that. What is it worth to you if we could help improve your problem, if we could get you better? Those are questions you've got to ask yourself and, and you have to answer for yourself. But we're here to help. This is what we do. If you're interested and you'd like to have us take a look at you, you can contact us through the websites that I showed you. You can call us for more information. We'll be happy to send you information through the mail. Our phone number, I'll leave it for you, 610-974-9911. And uh, like I said, if, if, if you'd like to see if we can help, 
we don't know right now. We can't tell you over the phone. You got to come in, and we have to we have to see you. Pick up the phone. Give us a call. Six one zero nine seven four nine nine one one. I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you've gotten some valuable information. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, other than that, uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out with us a little bit today. My name is Dr. Ray Benedetto, and we hope to see you soon.